Because the Bible said uh, when God took them out of Egypt, uh, he said to them, I'm going to take you to the promised land. He said, this is a land that is flowing with milk, with milk and honey. So if right now there's no milk or honey, that doesn't mean it's all gone. Ah, look at your neighbor and tell him he'll come back. You just have to wait on the Lord. But the Bible said, Eliminate got up. He took his family and he went down to Moab. He went down across the other side of Jordan. And I don't know about you, but if I came out of Egypt by the way of the Jordan, I would have no reason to go back that way. Come on, look at your neighbor and tell him, there ain't no going back. The only place I'm going back is to the well of grace. So the songwriter said, I keep going back to the well of grace. The greater the power is the sweet of the chase. When temptation come my way, I just keep going back to the well. And I don't know why Eliminate decided to go back. Uh, but somebody ought to remember Lot's wife. She didn't even get a chance to go back. She just looked back. And the Bible said she turned a pillar of salt. I come by to say to somebody today, you are not to go back from whence you came, but you ought to lift your eyes into the hills from whence cometh your help. For your help cometh from the Lord who made the heaven and the earth. The Israelites should have been fixed and settled. They should have known the great God that they serve. They should have known that God was able to do far more exceedingly, abundantly than they could have even think or ask. But for some reason, eliminate had to go somewhere else. Some things were not plentiful, but there was hope because God had promised. I'm here to tell somebody today that you dishonor God if for any sign of uneasiness you decide to go back. Yeah. Oh, you dishonor God when things don't work out and you decide to go your own way. Come on, look at your neighbor and tell him it's not time to dishonor, but it's time to honor. This is evidence of discontent. It's evidence of distrust yes, yes. and unstable spirit yes. to be weary in the place in which God has set you. And so even after the death of a two son, praise God, the Bible said that Elimelech died. And when Elimelech died, ah, Naomi looked at her two daughters and said to them, well, 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 I heard that there is food in my land. Oh, come on, look at your neighbor and tell him there is food where I come from. Yes, I know I've been hanging out here with you for a while. Ah, when I came here, things were bad. When I came here, I needed you. Oh, you're not hearing me today. Sometimes you get to a place where you need some people. Yes, sometimes God allow you to get to a place where you have to shelter with some people. But there comes a time when you hear the word of God. Like the scripture says, praise the name of Jesus. When the woman heard that Jesus was in the Pharisee house, she decided to make her way. Anybody here today willing to make your way to where there is bread? And the Bible says that eliminate died. And after Elimelech died, that the two daughters, or the two sons rather, took wives of the Moabites. Yeah. Now, I, I just love to talk about marriage. Because the Bible said that God had warned them when they got over there. God told them they shouldn't marry them. They shouldn't do anything with them. But for some ungodly reason, the two sons decided they were going to marry and so they married the Moabite woman that didn't believe in the true living God. And the Bible said, for this their life was cut short. Ah, you're not hearing me. Yes, sir. If you disobey God, your life will be cut short. Am I talking to somebody today? And the Bible said, 
I'll just go back where they came from. I'm talking to somebody today. You've got to learn the word of God that the Bible said you ought not to be unequally yoked with unbelievers. If they don't believe what you believe, you've got no business marrying them. And so the Bible said, the wise woman Ruth looked at her mother-in-law and said, Entreat me not to leave thee, nor to return from following after thee. For where you go, I will go. Come on, look at your neighbor and tell him, where you go, I will go. Tell him your people shall be my people, and your God shall be my God. I come by to tell the body of Christ, when you've got some friends that don't want your people to be their people, you ought to drop them like a hot potato. When they don't want your God to be their God, you ought to drop them. So yes, we weren't born saved. For the Bible said we were all born in sin and shaped in iniquity. So I'm not acting like I'm better than you, but I'm going to tell you the truth. If you don't want my God, I can't spend much time with you. I can just talk to you a little bit. I can tell you of the goodness of Jesus. So when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, Entreat me not to leave thee, not to return from following after thee. For where you go, I will go. And where you lodge, I will lodge. She said, your people shall be my people, and your God shall be my God. It's time that somebody realize that your God ought to be a friend's God. Ah, it so happened that they got back down there, and when they got there, Ah, Ruth looked at Naomi and said to her, Well, mother-in-law, I'm not going to be lazy. I'm not going to sit up here and be a burden to you. I'm going to go out and find me some work. And the Bible said she got out in the field. And it so happened. Hey, can I tell somebody, when you walk in the church, it will just... Do that. 